Ready? Ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly gonna like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, missed on that one. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, big punch land. Again, they clinch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big kick land. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a combiner. That right hand is on point. Nice kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ah, right oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, misses with the jab. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Final seconds are round one. Second round, straight ahead. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Adam Hurt almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, he's going to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Big ball from punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, a huge block there. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together. In oh, no. You don't know when that leg is stunned. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Nice punch there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. What a punch. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Try to establish that jab. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. He blocks the punch. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Dig and kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. What a round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Good punch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Straight right, he misses. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Choi's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Well, he's the tallest fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Boy, Thai Club. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, this
there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. And you're done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Great punch. Oh! Jeez Louise! Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We send it in.